is the tutorial on how to change dual alternators, serpentine belt tensioners, duals, 2004 F350 6.0 turbo diesel. First thing you want to do, and this is going to be quick, you want to take this off just so you can get in there to see. Two little tabs right here. Boom. Just pop those back. Boom, boom, boom. This comes out. Next, got the shroud. Shroud sits in here like this. Just get a screwdriver in there, pop these tabs out, and then roll it out like that. Boom. If you have an aftermarket water filter, you want to take this off, move it out of the way. Now you got access down here. See what's going on down there? See that nut? I already got it cracked off. Okay, once you get access to that, you could crack that nut off. But if you're going to change the alternators, just go ahead and take your top one off. Boom. All it is, 10, 10 millimeter nut. And you got the clip right here. Just press that in, pop it out. On this one, a little bit different clip. Gotta get a screwdriver down in there. Pop that tab back, pop that out. Same thing, 10 millimeter socket for that. Get that off, get this out of the way. Boom, take your second alternator out. The only way to get this second alternator out is to undo this right here, pull this back so you can get to that back bolt back there. This one right here, boom, boom. It's hard to get back there. Get a socket extension on this one, but the, this one, no problem. But this one, I had to get a wrench on there, get that off. Next, you want to get down here for this tensioner. You want to take this tensioner off first because obviously this bolt for this bracket hits this and won't come out. Now, once you get that tensioner off here, pull those three bolts off, this comes out. This right here holds this either pulley in place pop that off that to the side now you get down here to the other tensioner this bad boy right here it's got a bolt pull this out got a bolt here and a bolt there now it's got this little tab right here they can lock it in place now the easiest way to lock that thing in place is once you get all that room back in there you can get a nice long half inch drive like this get it in there crank it like that and once you crank it like that you can get your left hand down there and pop this pin in place and this will be locked in the loose position you'll be able to get your belt out real quick now just a quick heads up, if you're just changing this, you're going to have, and you have two alternators, you're going to have to get this alternator out. This is the one that went right here. There's no way that this fits through here with that alternator there. So this alternator right here has got a bad bearing on it. It's my top alternator. It goes right here. It's my secondary alternator. That's the one that goes on the side. If you have two alternators, you're going to have to take this one out in order to get this tensioner out. Just quick heads up, I got this bungee cord on my fan because it has, you can't really see it down there, but there's an actual wire on there, it's an electric fan clutch. It's got a clip here, but you gotta take the shroud off to get it out. So just bungee cord it, hold it in place, it should be fine. Now a lot of people have problems with that nut right there. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. See this tool right here? That's what I used. Actually, no. You can use this, but you can also use 3/8. Just get your 3/8 down in there. Boom. Lock that in place like that. Just put that in there. Boom. Hold that in place like that. And then get yourself a big wrench. I use this. No problem. Just put a little bit of crank on it, crack it. You just grab the fan, spin it, and it comes right out. Bungee cord, like I said, so you don't mess up the wire for the electric fan clutch. Now, once you get to that point, everything else is pretty much straightforward. You got another smooth pulley right here. You got 
two of these pulleys which are extended out for my dual alternator my secondary alternator comes outside the main drive belt for the water pump and everything so there's one here and there's one back in there but everything else from here is real easy to do obviously the reverse put everything in back the way I showed you from the beginning and that's it